Try and picture a van-based compact people carrier. Bet you weren't imagining anything quite as nice as this. The revised Euro 6 version of Citroen's much more civilised second generation Berlingo Multispas has been further distanced from the original Mark 1 model's basic commercial routes. With smarter styling, more equipment and the high-tech option of more efficient blue XGI diesel engines, this value for money 5 or 7 seater is now a vehicle that demands to be taken very seriously indeed. If you're after a budget family carry-all, it's well worth a look. This little Gallic MPV is a lot more pleasant to drive than you might expect. You're not encouraged to throw the thing about, the steering's too vague for that, but other more important attributes have been prioritised. For a start, the ride is excellent, soaking up the bumps without creating too much body roll through the bends. And refinement's not bad either, despite the vast interior space. And under the bonnet? Well, most buyers ignore the old tech 95 brake horsepower 1.6 litre VTI petrol unit and confine their attentions to the 1.6 litre Blue HDI diesel range. Here there's a choice of three outputs, 75, 100 and 120 brake horsepower. You'll need the 100 brake horsepower power plant for the option of the brand's ETG6 automatic transmission and the 120 brake horsepower version if you want a manual gearbox with six speeds rather than five. The transition from utilitarian boxiness to a semblance of sensible style was smartly accomplished when the second generation Berlingo Multispace was first launched in 2008. Since then, Citroen's various attempts at visual embellishment have merely been icing on the cake. The most recent package of changes apparently supposed to give the design a stronger personality. Specifically, the bumper and radiator grille have been more carefully integrated to give the front a smarter appearance, with a neater design created to sit lower and wider as part of a look that Citroen hopes will underline the robust strength of the vehicle. Now let's take a closer look at boot space. Provided you haven't filled it with the two extra 6th and 7th seats uh, that come with the optional 7th seat pack, then the cargo area is vast. With the rear parcel shelf in place, a total of 675 litres is available, and that rises to 1,350 litres if you load to the roof. If you want to extend that, you can fold down the second row backrests and do so in individual stages, provided you've avoided entry-level trim, and that'll give you 2,650 litres of space. Or you could remove the second row seating completely, assuming you're strong enough of back and you have a garage for storage. Now do that and a potential load space of 3,000 litres means that your multi-space could swallow four washing machines. And you can release even more space if you flatten the fold forward front passenger seat. Now this might enable really long items to be carried, a kayak for example. Time to take a seat at the wheel, which is where the contrast between this molten multispace and the utilitarian original is probably most marked. The early version's Spartan wipe-clean black plastic is today replaced in top second-generation variants like this one by softer-touch surfaces that combine with the smarter seat material and dashboard trim of this revised model. There's also now the potential for most of the kind of high-tech features that a more demanding modern family might now want. The top versions of this model are fitted with a 7-inch touchscreen and DAB audio system, which comes with the option of Citroen's eMyWay satellite navigation system. Talking of interior storage brings me to what is probably my favourite feature in this car, the optional Modutop glass panel roof, which offers up to 94 litres of ceiling-mounted space in an ingenious central storage area featuring large, light-loving glass panels. <laughs> This second row offers enough space to suit a wide variety of passenger shapes and sizes. You only get this basic bench with the field trim level I have here, but if I'd stretched up to the top XTR model or opted for that seven-seat family pack I just mentioned, my car would instead have come with three individual second row seats that I think you really need in this car. These individually folding, tilting and removable chairs can recline for greater comfort on longer journeys, or if there are only two of you, it's possible to fold forward the backrest of the centre seat to create a picnic table with built-in cup holders.
Back at the turn of the century, the original Citroen Berlingo Multispace established a template for the modern van-based compact MPV. You could argue that this much-improved second-generation version still does. It all explains why the Berlingo Multispace remains such a strong player in its segment and why we think you ought to add one of these to your shopping list if you're looking for affordable, flexible family transport on a realistic budget. It may not be the car you and your tribe always dreamed of owning, but it may well be the one you actually need.